Mage. Janice? Simon's missing in Blackpool. What? Yeah, that's all I know. Peter and Leanne have just gone off to find him. Well, what's he doing there? What's going on? Simon's missing in Blackpool. They're really worried about him. But Peter's driving there now? Yeah, they just left two seconds ago. Well, we should go too. Yeah, I'll get my car. But, but hang on, somebody should stay in case he rings. I'll stay. Oh, come in, Janice. I can't believe he just walk off like that. I found Peter. He's on his way. What did you do that for? We'll find him. He can't go far. Peter's the boy's father. He has a right to know. Oh, I've made such a mess of this. And I thought Peter wasn't capable of looking after him. The police said to wait here. Oh, what have I done? I don't know how it works. I don't do computers. Why can't you just come over and help? <sighs> right, I can see green hills and blue sky. OK. Well, what's the drop-down menu? Oh, yeah, I can see it. Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, of course I'm wiggling the mouse. I'm not a fool. Oh, 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 this stuff's just popped up now. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Oh. Hiya. You all right? T for one. Retail therapy. Yeah? I could do the bit that myself. I can't remember the last time I bought myself something nice. Yeah? Sorry, I can't stop. I'm meeting the girls for a drink. Bye. Like I said, we've been on holiday. Tenerife. We'd no idea all this had been going on. Are you sure you recognise these people? Oh, yes. Oh, very nice couple, seem very friendly. And you say you saw them on their bow? Oh, yes, we saw them. Both of them? Yeah. And they were arguing. We did think about checking if everything was all right. You don't like to interfere, do you? And you're absolutely sure you saw Gail on the boat? Oh, yes, we saw her very clearly. She was definitely on the boat. I can't believe he's dead. Poor bloke. You never know, he might have been knocking her about. Was he? I'm sorry, we can't discuss that. We will need you to make a proper statement, is that OK? We'll do anything we can to help. Hi! I'm home! How was the pub? Fine! What's this? I have news. And a confession. A confession? Yeah, don't look like that. It's not a bad thing. Although I did tell a little white lie. I wasn't meeting an old mate this afternoon. I had an interview. For a job. So why didn't you tell me? It was a teaching job. But you can't. No, no, you... Not with kids. It's with adults. It's an adult education programme. It's two evenings a week, that's all. But you've got a criminal record. Yeah, I know, but this is adults. It's different. They didn't even ask about a criminal record. Oh, so you didn't tell them? Well, no. But I did get the job. That's the good news. Is it? Yeah, I've got a teaching job. I thought you'd be happy for me. It's exactly what I wanted. Peter, Peter, will you slow down? Slow down. Look at this. Where's all this traffic come from? Look, he's a bright kid. He knows his phone number. He'll find a policeman or, or an adult and he's going to ask for help. How could they lose him? Say George felt terrible. Oh, yeah. He'll feel terrible when I get hold of him. Oh, Peter. What? Who would blame me if I punched his lights out, eh? No one. Eh? But that's not going to help us find Simon, is it? No, it's not, but it'll make me feel better. <laughs> Look, just ring even, see if there's any more news. He didn't have pudding. <laughs> I'll have you know that pasta was very, very filling. Right, uh, listen. Why don't you nip in here? Get us a drink, and I've just got to pop to the factory for two seconds. Do you never stop working? Yes. Look, I left this machinist to lock up, and, well, she's useless. <laughs> really? What's her name? Maybe I know her. Well, I'll be two seconds. Why don't you order me a large glass of red, and if Betty's serving, I bet I can be back here by the time you've sat down. Hang on a minute. Oh, yes. I know why I didn't order pudding. 
you were worried I wouldn't be able to pay the bill. <laughs> you think that because I'm a bin man, I can't afford to buy a decent meal. Do you want to know what I think? I think you've got more of a problem with being a bin man than I do. So, why are you taking the first chance to escape? Could it be you're worried someone you know might see us together? <laughs> This is ridiculous. I'm just going to go and check that fat chair yeah, and then I will be right back. Okay. Oh, hello. I'll ring you back. Fancy bumping into you. Who's this? This is Trevor. All right. Nick Tilsley, business associate. <laughs> <laughs> you off somewhere? Actually, no. No, we're just going in the Rovers. Come on. And I am buying. I'm just a bloke who can't say no. We have officers looking for him right now. They'll contact the local shops and businesses. Do you have a photograph? Uh, not with me, no. And you're staying here, yeah? We just came for the day. From no, yeah. This is Simon's dad. Is there any news? I'm so sorry. Not as sorry as I am. Right now, I have every right to punch your face in. But that's not going to help me find Simon, and that's more important to me than hurting you, George. So you're the little boy's father? Yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. So maybe you can give me a description? I can, yeah, and we've, uh, we've got some photos, Lee. Oh. A specialist officer has been appointed to coordinate this search. We're doing everything we can to find you, son. Thanks. It's not my idea of a night out, this, you know. What if she comes back? I told you, she's in the pub with a bloke. Well, you should have come here earlier, then I wouldn't have been left on my own. Oh, I'm sorry, but this is invaluable information. Yeah. And it's all thanks to you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be rewarded. Oh, well, that sounds good. <laughs> Look, why don't you pop back to your flat? I'll finish up here and I'll buy a bottle bubbly on the way. Okay? Right. Um, well, don't forget to reset the alarm. And put the keys back through the door or else I get in big trouble. Yeah, don't worry. I'll do it. Okay. Sarah. So what's the weather like? We don't have to make a fuss. Seeing you and Beth will be treat enough for me. All right, love. I'll see you soon. Bye. Sorry about that. You going away? Milan. When? After the funeral. Seems like a strange time to take a holiday. Well, I wouldn't call it a holiday. I want to see my daughter and granddaughter. I'm sorry. I've not had a good day. Would you like something to drink? I could make her something to eat if you like. I'm not hungry. I ain't had much of an appetite since he died. Are you still going to speak at the funeral? If I can. I don't know. I keep thinking about what to say. Oh, I know I couldn't do it. Every time I think of Joe, I just feel a rush of grief. I'm the same. I know it sounds mad, but I kind of like the feeling of being out of control. Means he's still a part of my life. It means he's still affecting me. I'm sure when the time comes, you'll find the right words. What's the worst that can happen? Exactly. Well, I'm popular tonight. Can I put the kettle on? Of course you can. Sorry it's late, love, but this is important. You better come in. You know Tina, Joe's daughter? Sorry, we were hoping to speak with Mrs McIntyre on her own. About my dad? I don't mind Tina being here. She's part of my family. Got some tea? Yeah, thanks. You better sit down. I'll give you a hand. Now. The police are printing flyers with uh, Simon's uh, description or uh, photograph. Where's Peter? He's come best standing around. It's called looking for him. Well, let's hope that's all he's looking for. 
blue jeans, black trainer. I'm so sorry. What the flaming heck did you think you were doing? I thought I was acting in Simon's best interest. Look, he's all alone out there, probably frightened to death. Anything could happen to him, and he's all in his best interest. You have every right to have a go at me, but whatever you say, you're not going to make me feel any worse than I do already. Dad? You came as soon as we heard. I don't know what to do. I've just been walking around, hoping and praying that I'll see him. But it's Blackpool. It's just happy families on holiday, but to me it looks like the most dangerous place on Earth. How can he be safe out there? How can he be safe out there? <laughs>